Hey everyone, it's Jason. Welcome to an unboxing for Dragon Ball Super Card Game Fusion World, the Unwakened Pulse Booster Packs. Uh, so if you're not familiar with Dragon Ball Super Card Game Future Fusion World, nice long name for this game, um, is it, um, I do have another one video where I did the starter decks where I do kind of go over uh, a little bit more of what it is. Um, and I will try and release a comparison video and the reason for that is because what it is, is it is a simplified version of the previous slash current Dragon Ball Super game, which is now being called Masters instead of Fusion World. Um, so what they did was they decided, basically um, Bandai and uh, the guys that make the game, they decided, one, we want to make an online version, which is Fusion World. So they're going to be able to play it online. So each pack comes with a code. Uh, as well as the starter decks as well. Um, it's not currently operation as of this video, but um, hopefully they'll have it up shortly now that the game is starting to roll out. Um, so they simplified some of the things. They simplified some of the card names um, and character names, um, some of the abilities. They got rid of some counter um, countering steps just because it's hard to add that into the gig. It's easier to talk to another player and ask if you're countering this and that. And I guess we just simpler to get rid of that. Um, so they kind of, you know, not to be not saying in a negative way, but they dumbed the game down a little bit, got rid of some of the more like excessive elements. So if you've seen some of the newer Dragon Ball Super cards, maybe you watch my video, maybe you collect them. They some of them have like blocks of text, they have like 10 different abilities you have to try and remember. It's like, oh, it's damage multiplier, two attack multiplier, fusion breaker, uh, Z world, all this other keywords and all this. This kind of gets raw, resets it back to the beginning. Um, but it's also supposed to be as a step off game. So basically you can play this um, and then you can step up into the masters one if you like, hey, I really like this. And you step up in the masters, it's gonna have like 90% the same rules. It's gonna have some extra bonus stuff. So it's kind of cool, but they're not directly compatible in that sense because this does eliminate some of the things that it doesn't do. The other thing they did with this um, was to kind of make it more in line with the One Piece and Gigimon games um, in terms of kind of like looking aesthetic. They kind of wanted to keep those kind of all looking more so, um, yeah, it's definitely cool. So you can definitely go check out the starter decks. I'll try and put out a video that does a better comparison between the two different games, showing off how different the cards are, showing off um, all that. Uh, but yeah, they are not getting rid of the other version. They're still planning on releasing it as the Master Series. And then now this is now Fusion World. This is the first booster pack. So we're going to go ahead and hop into it. So all the booster packs, even though they showed four different artwork on these uh big cardboard stage all the boosters have the super saiyan blue goku on them um but it's broke down into currently four different colors much like the original one um so we have red blue yellow and green different colors um so if we look on the back here i don't know if it says too much more so yeah so 140 cards in this set uh there are eight different leaders so two for each color uh 52 commons 32 uncommons, 30 rares, 12 super rares, and two secret rares. There are also art, alt art cards um, in each set. Um, I think there's one for each of the leader cards, and I think for each of the super rare cards, I believe. Um, so that's kind of cool as well. Um, yeah, they'll have a code card in each one. I don't know how many cards it unlocks. I don't know if it gives you a full booster pack for each one. If it unlocks one secret card, one random card, gives you coins to spend. Because unfortunately, the game's not up. It's still it just came out of beta, so I I don't have that information. Um, yeah, there's twelve cards in each pack. We're gonna go ahead and crack these open. So each color though it deals with a different theme. So the starter decks. Um, just in case you haven't watched this, just a quick jump into that. The starter decks were Red was Goku, which followed the um, Super Dragon Ball Super Tournament arc. Blue was Vegeta, which followed um, various... Uh, oh, what was all his stuff? I think it was just... It was the... Uh, 
uh, Boo Saga, uh, with Go Tanks and everything. So starting with the Boo Saga. Green was Brawly, which generally followed the Brawly movie. Uh, movies, whether it's rather the original Brawly stuff, some of the new Brawly stuff, the super version, or um, Saiyans in general, because it had stuff like Raggots and things in there. And then Yellow was Frieza, which was all about uh, generally Frieza, Frieza Clan, Frieza Force, whether again, the original from the Frieza arc in Dragon Ball Z, or from the Resurrection F storyline. So and this is kind of continuing some of those themes in those different colors. The only color we don't have anything for right now is black. Um, and that followed the same way the original game did too, the Masters one. They didn't do black, I think, until the second, maybe the third series. And then that followed Dragon Ball Heroes only. Um, we're going to go ahead and hop into this. This will be um, at least a two-parter video. If you've seen any of my other unboxings, you'll be kind of uh, unboxings, unwrappings, however you want to call it. You'll be kind of familiar with how I do this. Um, I'll open up each pack. We'll, I'll look, read, read through the cards. Um, and then as I, if it's a duplicate, I just skip through it quick. Then as I get through, by the time we get to the second video, which I will do less than half in the first one, and then the second half of the video, or the second video, I should say, we will jump through the rest of the pack. But they'll fly through a lot quicker because I'll eventually have all the commons. Because um, I have 25 boosters here. So I'll eventually have all the commons. So we'll fly through them and then we'll get to the uncommons. In the second video, I won't read anything I opened in the first video. So that way I'll just keep kind of flying through lots of them and then we'll, you know, fly through them quick. All right, so we're going to hop into our first thing. First thing we want to do, though, is I do want to look at the back of the card. Um, the back of the card is the exact same as the other version of Dragon Ball Super Card Game. I love that they kept it the exact same because you could potentially mix and match it. Now, the rules, because there's a couple of things that are a little bit different, it might make these a little bit cheaper, easier to use. Um, but then again, they might be also sacrificing overall power and keywords and abilities. So it could be a trade-off, I'm not for sure. All right, but let's look at our first card. Um, all right, I'm gonna zoom up on this. We're going to look at this. I'm just gonna go over some of the card stuff on here really quick, just so we know what we're looking at. So up in the top left corner, we have the cost. This costs one. The little blue dot on is how many color of that you need to play. So currently right now, um, there are only leaders for each color in a single color, and your deck can only be composed of colors of that leader the same way as the One Piece game. So if you're playing a red deck with Goku as a leader, you can only have red cards. In the future, they will release, like, a red-blue deck. Then you can put, like, let's say it's a red-blue Vegeta, then you can have any red or blue card in there. But to play a card like this, you have to pay one, and it has to be from a blue energy card. Um... Top corner, 5,000. That is your power, it's your cost, it's your attack. Uh, this is a battle-type card. There are three types of cards currently. There's the leader, which you only have one per deck. Your battle card, which is a majority of your deck. And then extra cards, which are generally like special maneuvers, like the Kamehameha and the Galaxy Gun. Um, the plus 1,000, or plus 10,000 is your combo booster. So... If you don't play this card out to use it for its ability or attack, you can instead use it to boost up another character. Pretty simple. Um, bottom corner down here, we have a little uh, pentagon with a one side highlighted and a letter in it. So U is for blue. This is uh, from Magic the Gathering Days. Um, so it'll be red, blue, green, yellow, and then the top last corner will be black. This is just a quick visual so you know what color card it is. Also probably for people that might be colorblind. Um, and then the one U next to it means it costs one blue to pay. Not not this cost, but the little blue dot means you have to pay one blue. So if we did a card that has two of them pips, it would say U2 on the bottom. Um, of course, bottom corner down here. Uh, FB, so Fusion World Booster, number one, set card number 54. First edition, C for common, common rare, super rare, super rare. Uh, no, of course, you have the name of the card. Haru and Maki and a subtype Earthling. Um, no, all right. So now we got the basis of what the card does. There is, this is, uh, so blue is, in the starter decks, it was Vegeta, like I said, with, uh, the trunks, or the, 
the Boo Saga, but like a little bit more heavy focus on Go Tanks. This one instead jumps into the uh, Future Trunks Saga, uh, Goku Black Saga from uh, Super. So we'll see if these cards. On play, if you have seven or fewer cards in your hand, choose up to one of your Trunks Future, it gets plus 10,000 power for the turn. Uh, so this is what Blue likes to do. This is the theming of Blue. They get more powerful if you have less cards in your hand. So far, I think they've all been seven or fewer. Um, I really hope that they get some more that, like, if you have even less cards, it gives you, like, a second ability. That would be really cool. All right. Our next one is in red. We are doing more uh, uh, Dragon Ball Super Tournament of Power Cards. So, the Goku starter deck was all the Universe 7 characters, Goku, Vegeta, Frieza, Tien, Androids, all those guys. Um, this is, expansion is going to add a lot to the other characters in there. Uh, so, now we have, um, this should have Chompa here at 4 cost. And I'm not going to read all their different stats and stuff like that. He doesn't have any extra special abilities, but he just got God of Destruction with Universe 6. All right. Our third card is we have Android 17. So green was originally the Brawly Saga and some and some other same cards. This one's gonna hop into the Android Saga. Um, so he has critical and this card inflicts damage with an attack. The life is placed in the drop. So what that essentially means is, is normally you have a set of life cards which dictate how long you can live. Um, I think it's six, I think it's seven cards you start with. Um, and then as, as you get damaged, um, bad stuff happens. You can also make your leader more powerful. But what happens if someone deals damage to you, then you put that card in your hand. This is very representative, like, like old Pokemon with the prize cards. So it's, except it's the opposite way. This is a good way to do this because it's like, I got hurt. I got a card in my hand now. Um, so it gives me a bonus to come back so I can maybe try and do stuff. This gets rid of that, so it's kind of fun. Alright, uh, and then in blue, we have another Sun Goku, uh, saying, this is one thing I, I don't go, I'm, I'm torn on whether I like it or dislike it. So, the Masters version of the game, all the characters had generally unique different names, and then they had other, like, little subtypes. I'm fine with getting rid of the... Uh, thing on the bottom that had like the era. I mean, I like it for personal information, but getting rid of the gameplay. Um, and then some of the other like linking the keywords like, okay, this is this card name, but it's actually just Son Goku. It's du doubling up some information. But they had some unique things because they have Super Saiyan, Super Saiyan 3, Super Saiyan Blue Goku, you know, different versions. Now all Gokus are just Son Goku, whether he's regular, Super Saiyan, Super Saiyan 3, Super Saiyan 4. Um, I don't fell four in here. I don't know if GT will hit this game or not. Um, so that's kind of a bummer that they don't change their names for any of them. But again, I get where it makes it easier because now every Goku card is just a Goku card. You don't have to try and figure out like if they're named differently. So it, it kind of makes sense. All right, our last color we haven't gotten to was yellow, which is uh, Frieza's set. So in the starter decks, it's Frieza. This adds a lot more Frieza stuff, including the Ginyu Force. Uh, which, if you watch that video, I guess that that's exactly what was going to happen. Um, I was right on the reg when Goku continued with uh, the Universe 7 arc. I was right with Frieza. The other two I was completely off on because I didn't know they were going to change them. I thought Brawly was going to, Green was going to be movies. Um, so it went to the Android Saga. And I Blue, I had no idea it was Boo Saga. I thought maybe it might jump into the Cell Saga. Uh, when it completely curveball on me. All right, Apple has activate main. Switch this card to rest mode. Look to the top card of your deck. Then reveal up to one card with Frieza's army and its special traits and add it to your hand. Place any remaining cards on the top of your deck. This is what yellow likes to do. So where blue likes to play around with having less cards, yellow so far seems to be the army deck. Um, all about summoning more characters, getting a lot more guys out. Of course, Frieza's going to want his army. Um... Here's another Sun Goku for green during the Android Saga. On play, draw one card. Never a bad thing to have. Also, you guys have some quick one-drop Gokus as well. We have our last common, and it is also our first extra card. So extra cards are white and border, just to separate, set, 
check them aside. Um, they don't have a power. They don't have a combo bonus generally. I won't say that won't ever change. This is Assemble Representatives of Universe 7. Uh, active with the top five cards of, the, of your deck revealed. Look at the top five cards from the top of your deck. Reveal up to one card with Universe 7 and its special traits and add it to your hand. Place the rest in the bottom of your deck in a random order. Active Battle. Uh, your turn. Choose your leader or uh, up to one of your battle cards that takes plus 15,000 power to the end of your turn. So this lets you find... Um, depending on when you activate it, you can either use it to, to find a character or you can boost up one of your characters. So that's pretty cool. Our first uncommon, we are going to get Ginyu as the frog. That's hilarious. Um, Ginyu Force and Freeze's army. Activate main. Switch this card to rest mode to draw one card. So with that Goku, you only got the card every time you play when you played him, and then you just sat there. This card, you get to play him, he doesn't automatically go it, but you can use the effect repeatedly. Our next uncommon is so we had how many commons did we have here? Just one sec. We had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven commons in a pack. We will get it looks like three uncommons. Just set that brings up to ten. And our last two will be um Rares or parallel cards. I think we could think there's parallel foils in here. I don't remember. Um, I might be thinking of a different set. Uh, Alright, we have Sun Goku here. He has Blocker. After opponent's attack, you may switch this card to rest mode and change the attack to the target. Permanent. Opponent's turn. If you have seven or fewer cards in your hand, gain 10,000 power. So you help protect your cards. Um, oh, we had Ginyu there. I already put him up. Our last uncommon... Is going to be Android 16 Bird. Um, his blocker says, When KO, play up to one Sun Gohan childhood with a cost of six from your drop to your discard pile. All right, our rare card is Goku Black. So this is a foil version. Now, I don't, again, I don't remember if there's a parallel foil in every set. I don't think it says in here. Um, yeah, just looking at the back, it doesn't mention parallel foils. There probably just is some, because this is a rare. Of course, this could just be a foil for the rare as well. The I, I'm not for sure because the starter decks had either commons or super rares. They had no rare cards, so rare cards just might be foiled. Um, we'll have to find out together. Um, but there's Goku Black. Uh, on play, if you have several fear cards in your hand, draw one card. All right, our last rare card is, holy crap, first pack, first card. We're going to start off with a secret rare, and it has a star, so it's the alt art secret rare on top of that. Damn, that is cool, though. I love that foil. You like the gold energy beams are foiled differently than the rest of it. That is awesome. Um... So you see this Goku has no combo bonus. It's 30,000, cost four with two pips up there. So you have that R2 down there. On play, choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards. It gains minus 15,000 power for the turn. Auto, when this card KOs in your opponent's battle card, deal one damage to your opponent. So you're going to drop lots of the cards down 1,500 power or 15,000. And then he's also going to, if he defeats them, He's going to deal one damage to you. So you can basically target your other cards and take them out. Just to note this. So out of all these cards, 20,000 for our rare. But everything else, for all our commons, are 15 or less except for the one Goku and the Champa. So, like, he's going to be able to, like, knock most of them cards down to zero and basically get a free hit. That's awesome. Then the last thing we have in every pack is we're going to have one of these. Uh, she's going to show our prize. Talks about that. And on the other side will be our redeem our code uh, for digital version, which again is not available. There is a code on there. I will not show you my codes. Um, but they do have... I want to... So put this up there, it's the bottom half of it. So it says, Redemption February is February 15th of 2025. So it's basically a year from now, from the time this set came out. Um, and it says FB01EN. 
Again, I don't know how much it unlocks. It does not tell us. Um, but yeah, that's awesome. That is a great first pack. This has been a long video for one pack of cards, but we're going to start blitzing through some more of these. Um, so if you're still here, hey, thank you for hanging in with me. All right, awesome, awesome. This is cool. All right, so our next pack, our first one we're going to get is Android 17, a leader. So he's a front card, so he doesn't have a cost or anything. Um, it says, when attacking, draw one card. And they awaken. When your life is at four or less, draw one card and then flip this card over. So you have, I want to say eight, seven life. I think it's eight. I think you have eight. Once you get down to four, um, generally, almost every single leader is going to have this at four they draw a card, they flip over. There are going to be some that are going to work differently, but this has been the running theme. Out of the starter deck, three of the four cards did that. At four, they all switched. I think Brawl is the only one that did something different. But then when he flips over, boom, he becomes Awaken. Um, and then he ups his power. Now he's Android 17, Android 18. So that's cool that he changes who he is. Uh, permanent, your current. If you have six or more energy cards, this gets 10,000 power. When attacking, draw one card. That is what green liked to do, is have energy cards. So it kind of makes sense. Brawly, giant powerhouse. Um, you know, boosts up energy, does lots of attacks to play lots of big cards. And then the androids with unlimited energy. So they're also focused as able to keep playing and playing cards. That's awesome. So we got an extra leader right off the bat. All right, and then we have Mega Cooler from the Frieza Clan. Permanent, you can include as many copies of this card in your deck as you like. That's awesome. Uh, one KO, play up to one Mega Cooler, the cost of three from your hand. So I wonder if we're going to end up in the future at some point. So I know they did this in the other version when they eventually introduced Mega Cooler. They had them in every color. Um, I hope that like as these sets go on the Fusion World, we get more of these. Because that would be cool if they only, like have different versions of him. Um, we have Pan, Baby Pan here. On play, draw two cards, then discard two cards from your hand. Android 17, beating the crap out of Piccolo. From Universe 6, we have Purina, the Namekian. Um, I never, I, it's interesting how they're different colors, right? You know, um, because like the Saiyans all look the same, essentially, but it's interesting. Um, we have Gawasu from Goku Black Arc. Uh, when KO'd, shoot up to one card with a cost of two or less from the battle area and return it to its owner's hand. Ooh, bouncing some cards. That's always fun. We have the Mafuba. Now, it's interesting with this because most of the cards seem to be going for the English version of the names as opposed to the other, the Masters version stuck to a lot of the, uh, um... A lot of uh, Japanese style names or naming conventions. So this, instead of calling it the um, uh, Spirit Way, oh, what was the name of it? Um, e Evil Containment Way, which is the English version. They left it as Mofuba, and I think they get it because Mofuba became such a popular card in the previous version of the game. So, act of main, choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards that gets minus 15,000 power for the end of turn. This is what Reg likes to do, along with, like we saw, Goku. They like to either reduce their opponents a lot or boost up themselves. Um, so, Reg is all about boosting and, and weakening characters. Blue is all about, basically, if you're getting lower on uh, cards in your hand or having less health, possibly. So far, it's just been cards, but basically, you've been playing a bunch of stuff. You get better effects. Green is all about having lots of energy. So you can play bigger cards. Uh, or more often. And then yellow has so far been all about like armies. Um, so that's kind of a neat thing. So we have a duplicate Goku. For our first uncommon. We have Android 16. Who has blocker. Permanent opponent's turn. If you have Android 17 and 18. In your energy area. This card gets 10,000 power. Cool. So you play them guys first. We have Crusher Ball with Jace. Um, Ginyu forcing Frieza's army. Active main. Draw one card, then choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards and switch it to rest mode. Um, not bad at all. Alright, 
that was our three uncommons. Okay, so here, uncommon, uncommon. So interesting. So the other pack, did we get three uncommons? What am I missing there? One. Oh, because the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. The leader cooking uncommon slot. That's what happened. Okay. So the leader cook up one of our uncommon slots. So I was just like, oh, what? I got rares. All right. So we got our first rare. Another foil again. Um, all right, so we got Frost from Universe 6. Permit, your opponent's battle cards with 2,000 or 20,000 power or less can't attack. Um, very interesting. And then we have our other one is Sun Go Gohan Childhood. Um, on play, choose up to one of your opponent's... Uh, one of your opponent's battle cards with a cost of four or less and KO it. Um, so play them, you basically just take somebody out. Definitely powerful. That's cool. All right. All right. So it looks like all the rares will be foil. I think s super rares then will have, like, especially foils. Um, leader cards should take the... Now, I'm not sure if all leaders will always take the uncommon slot. That's usually happening in the One Piece set as well. Um, but they might end up sometimes taking over a rare slot. All right, we got our second leader, also in green. So we got both green leaders. We have Sun Gohan Childhood. Um, when attacking, draw one card. Awaken. When this, when your life card is at four less, draw one card. Let's flip this over. So, like, again, basically the same. Um, this is also Android Saga. It's also the Cell Saga getting to there. So he comes back to Super Saiyan 2. When attacking, draw a card. Active battle once per turn. Place one of your energy in your drop. Uh, this card is 15,000 power for the end of turn. So great. You can boost them up at the cost of spending energy. But again, if you have other cards, they're usually good about getting more energy in there. Uh, duplicate Mega Cooler. We have a Bulma uh, from the Future Trunks. Active main once per turn. If you have seven or fewer cards in your hand during this turn... The next time you use an extra card from your hand, reduce the cost by one blue. Oh, that's nice. Um, makes cards cheaper. We have Ginyu and Goku's vibes. We've had two Ginyus. Neither of them have been in his regular body yet. On play, add to one extra Ginyu Force and its special traits from your drop area to your hand. Piccolo from Universe 7. Permanent, all your son Gohan adolescent battle cards get 5,000 power. Boost up. So I love some of these are kind of cool when they boost up a specific card. Another Goku. They really want me to have that Goku there. Um, we have We Are Coolers Armored Squadron. Um, I cannot figure these guys without thinking of uh, Team Four Stars version of them. Um, which one's the dumb one? Active main. You have a total of two or more cooler and or coolers armor squadron in their special traits amongst your leader and battle cards. Draw one card and switch up to one of your energy to active mode. So it's a, it only costs one to play, which isn't bad, but you have to have specific cards out. Um, so it's kind of payoff there. Uh, then we have Shu, who has blocker. Our first uncommon, uh, Trunks from the future, but this is the saying Android Saga version. Permit, this card can't attack your opponent's leader. Um, basically, cheap card, very powerful, but he's limited on what he can do. Um, our other uncommon here is uh, Khalifa. On play, up to one KO card with a cost of three from your hand. Nice. Pay for a five cost card, get a three cost for free. So eight for the cost of five, not bad at all. Our first rare is Final Hope Slash. Uh, so this is when Future Trunk somehow makes a spirit bomb that he's never learned how to do from King Kai, who he's never met, probably never even really heard of. Um, and he learns how to somehow form his own spirit bomb, you know. And then not only that, he can put it into a weapon. Um, this is one of the things I, I, the concept was really neat. I thought that, why it's really dumb. Um, active battle your turn. Choose your leader or up to one of your battle cards and it gets 
plus 20,000 power for the battle. The increase one battle card that costs a two or less recurrent to its opponent's hand. So this would be nice to get rid of one of them cards like Bad Guy Ginyu. Um, he's a frog one who could every turn basically rest or exhaust himself and then draw a card. This is a great way to get rid of them to waste a turn attacking them. Um, all right, our last rare there is Raccoon. Um, on play up to one card from your life to your hand. Then play up to one battle card that costs a two or less and then you force any special traits from your hand. This is a really um, interesting feature this game does. There's a bunch of cards that do this. They have you add one card from your life to your hand. Your life hits zero, you lose the game. Um, but these cards let you basically sacrifice some of your life um, to do an effect. And you might be like, well, why would you ever want to risk yourself getting lower? Because you get a good advantage. Um, just like you play a card for two or less. Um, you know, it gets another card a little bit cheaper at the cost of one. Also, it gets your leader closer to awake, and you can maybe kind of help pick pick or choose. Like, maybe your opponent's deciding to, like, hey, I'm not going to attack your character for your leader for a while and run your life cards down because I don't want your character to awake and become more powerful. And they're just working on building up their army. This is maybe a, a great way you can force that to happen quicker. Or, even if your opponent has been attacking you, again, you can maybe force your thing to happen they took down three, you can play this, force it to four. Now you have a much more powerful leader, and you have another, you have Raccoon out, and you have another uh, character out. So now you just basically got a powerful card and two extra cards. So, it's kind of cool. Alright, next pack, we're going to start off with Universe 7 Frieza. Um, so yeah, it's Frieza in different colors, of course. Um... It's also interesting to note here, so he is still Frieza Clan, so if they make a red-yellow combination, you can definitely mix them. Android 18, when attacking, place one card from your energy in your drop. Add up to one card from your hand to your energy. Um, so someone would be like, what? You're basically replacing your energy. What's the point of that? Because maybe early on, you put a... Um, like right off the bat, you put like a level or a six cost card in your energy. Like, I can't play this for a while. This would let you put it in your discard pile. Then now you can find a different card that lets you summon it and pull it back out. So it's a neat way to get around that. We have another Mega Cooler, which aren't going to be bad if you want to be able to play them. You need many copies. The Instant Kamehameha. Active Battle. Place one of your energy in your drop. Choose your leader. Or up to one of your battle cards, it's 15,000 power for the battle. Shu. Uh, Salsa. Cooler's Armored Squadron, who is critical. Ooh, we get the other half of this. We have Strong Warriors of Universe 6. Um, Active Main. Look at, the, look at five cards from the top of your deck. Reveal one with Universe 6. And special trades add to your hand. Place the rest of the bottom in any order. Active Bell, your opponent's turn. Choose one of your leaders, one of your battle cards gets up to 1,500 power for the battle. So, I just want to find... Yeah, choose a leader or a battle card gets 15. So, it works the same as the other one. Um, with a couple... One, one big difference. So, Universe 7, it says on your turn, you gain a power. So, basically, you can go on the offensive and you're stronger. Um, for these guys, it's on your opponent's turn. So basically, you're boosting up your defense. So that's kind of a neat little difference in there. Uh, we have Mai from the Future for our first gun common. Uh, activate main once per turn. Let the top card of your deck and place at the bottom card. The top or bottom of your deck. So, you know, deck stacking. It's always a good thing to have. Um, we have, ooh, big fat Android 19 here with, uh, I beams activate main. Choose up to two of your opponent's battle cards at a cost of one or less and KO them. And our last uncommon is Kale. Uh, when attacking once per turn, if you have a Khalifa battle mode card at a cost of five, switch this card to active mode. So Khalifa, you play her for five, you got Kale out. Um, and then now it says when you attack with her, um, 
you can switch this to active mode to be ready to go ahead and attack or defend again. So that's pretty cool. It's also 20,000 for three? That's nuts. All right, our first rare is we have a card not expect to ever see in here is Chilg. Um, Freezes one lost brother from one of the movies. Permanent, when opponents turn, all your battle cards are Freeza Clan and their special creates their 5,000 power. Um, so based on your turn, they're a lot more powerful. Then our last card is a first super rare. So super rares will have this cool artwork as well. Oh, sorry, my voice is going. Um, it has lightning there, but Goku Black. Um, 40,000, I think that's our biggest so far. Uh, on play, up to one card at the cost of four or less from your drop to your hand. When attacking, if you have seven or fewer cards in your hand, flip one battle card at the cost of four or less from your hand. So cool, when you play him, you get to take a card from your discard pile and put it in your hand, and then when you attack, you get to play that card for free. Um, that's a pretty good combo for him. Six cost does cost two blue to play. So it's, you know, again, right now, early in the game, when there's you can only have one color leader with a single color with a single color deck, that cost pips don't mean anything because every character is always going to have the same exact thing. Um, but yeah, when they start getting like you mix and match colors, um, that'll definitely be cool. And I'm sure that'll come as, as soon as set two. All right, next pack we have uh, Haru and Maki, another Android 17. So we're already getting duplicates of the commons. Uh, Zamuza, Supreme Kai. Um, very cool. We have a Piccolo. This is my favorite thing they've done with Piccolo. So for the later series, he's listed as God as well. Because after he absorbs Kami, he becomes God. Um, so that's definitely a fun little nod to that. Another Mafuba. Another, uh, Dawusa, but this is a different one. On play, look at the top five cards from the top of your deck and reveal one Goku Black. Or up to one Zamusa and add it to your hand. Place the rest of the bottom of your deck in any order. Um, interesting. So it's kind of a neat character if you're playing them, but if you're not, he's not really that good. Trunks Youth. Now, I'm, this is one thing that's very weird about this game, because I get they didn't want to have all these extra keywords and stuff, so they put some of these characters at different ages with the coal and whatever they are. But we have Childhood for, like, Gohan. We have Youth, so, like, I don't know if Gohan in, like, Cell or Frieza Saga was really that much younger than Trunks is now. Um... But I get it because you have Gohan, and then we have Adolescence Gohan, which is, you know, his Cell Saga version. But I think Adolescence also goes all the way up into Super, so it's like Teenage. But then we also have Future versions uh, of some of these characters. But I don't think, like, Goten gets any. So that's kind of weird there, because it's like, it's already not getting into GT. That's my, my concern or wonderment. Um, Alright, Trunks here has Blocker and on play up one card from your life to your hand. Again, just to maybe get you a little bit closer to that if you want. Uh, we have the Brother-Sister combination for our second Uncommon. Uncommon. Um, that's just some awesome artwork there too. Active Battle Opponent's Turn. Choose your leader and get up to one of your battle cards. And it gets 20,000 power for the battle. Then if you have 15 or more cards in your drop... Add up to one energy card with a cost of three or more from your from your drop to your energy in rest mode. So this is really neat. A bunch of these cards are letting you green cards that keep letting you spend the energy you let you spend your energy and put it in your drop. So now if you put basically discarded 15 cards, um, you can add one for three into your energy and replenish your energy back up. Um, we have another Ginyu Frog. Our first rare is Krilling, with his Destructo Discs. Uh, when attacking, shoot up to one of your opponent's battle cards, it takes minus 20,000 for the turn. And then we have another super rare, which is also funny because both of them have been from the same series. We have Future Mai. On play up to two cards from your life to your hand. Two cards? Ooh. Auto once per turn. If you have seven or fewer cards in your hand, an opponent's Battle card is returned to your hand. I'm going to still draw one card. 
Right, so if you have less cards and you somehow return one, basically you can replace that card. That's pretty fun. All right, next pack we have a Vegeta with a critical uh, from the future Trunks arc. Android 20 on um, play with the top five cards of your deck. You're up to one Android 17 or up to one Android 18. Add to your hand, push us to the bottom of your deck in any order. Another Prina Berta. So we have Raccoon and Burger, and we need the rest of the Ginyu Force. I think most of them are uncommon or rare, which is unfortunate. Um, no special abilities for him, though. We do have Zarbon with his giant, massive Dragon Balls. Um, on play with the top five cards of your deck, we open the one card that includes Frieza and its name added to your hand. Place the rest of their bomb in your deck in any order. So we've had cards that search for Birch for uh, Goku, Black, and Zamaza, Freezer, um, you know, cards of search for the androids. There's some good searching cards, which are always helpful. Vegeta. <coughs> Um, assemble representative universe seven. Sun Goku Childhood on play the top three cards from the top of your deck. We up to one card with a cost of five or less. And add five or less is saying special traits to add to your hand plays at the bottom of your deck. Uh, so like the other ones just search, but you only got for three. Um, so yeah, that is weird because you have Gohan Childhood, which is when he's a kid, adolescence when he's a teenager. But then we have Trunks, basically, it's either youth or future. Maybe they put them separately, just because that way it's, like, past and present versus kid and adult. I'm not sure. It's kind of weird. Our first uncommon there, or second uncommon, sorry, is Son Goku. Was from the, nope, not the pack art one. Blocker, permanent opponent's character. If you have seven or fewer cards, add 10,000 power. And then we have Android 17 with his, uh protection bubble who also has blocker when blocking this card gains 15,000 power for the turn our first rare is Fuwa uh, Supreme Kai of Universe 6 don't see a lot of him but that's pretty cool on play choose up one of your opponent's battle cards it's minus 15,000 power for the turn and our other rare is Bonds of the Ginyu Force kind of like the Universe 6 and 7 one um, act the battle choose your leader or up to one of your battle cards that gets 10,000 power for the turn. And that card gets 5,000 power for each card with Dingy Force and its trait amongst your leader and battle cards. So that's pretty cool. So you can boost them up. If you have all five of them out, yo, dang, right? 10,000 plus another 25 to 30, 35,000. I can make him one of the most powerful characters out there. I like how also some of the artwork is like directly like from the shows. Other ones are like, um, look like they're like redrawn. Um, not as good as the One Piece stuff though, I don't think. I think like the One Piece where it was, um, like looks like all brand new artwork. Like this is definitely some good stuff here, the leaders. Um, so we have our third leader, uh, in Rag. Now we have, uh, Guy of Destruction Beerus. But it's critical, permanent, your turn. This card gets 5,000 power. Um, Awakening your life is at four or less, draw one card. So most of them have had, um, we just have had, when attacking, draw a card. His is just on your turn, he gains extra power. Um, so that's one, it's already a difference there. Then if we flip him over, he goes super powered, but he's still casual. When attacking, now you draw a card. Active main once per turn. Choose up going to your opponent's battle card to just minus 10,000 power for the turn. Um, pretty cool. Uh, we have a Babiering. Babiering. Uh, from the Goku Black Arc. Another Android 17. We have Door from Cooler Force. We're only missing our third Cooler Force. On play, choose up to one of your battle cards with Cooler's Armored Squadron. Uh, special trades and switch it to active mode. We also need a cooler. I and mean, we got mega cooler, but like a regular one. Uh, we have Magenta. It's our first, or I know our sec. Nope, it's our second, but we had Kale and Khalifa. So our fourth fighter from Universe 6. Um, so we're getting some more of them. Um, here we have Time Skip with Hit on it, speaking of Universe 6. 
active main, choose any number of your opponent's battle cards and add up to a total of 35,000 power or less and KO them. Wow. He just wipes out like a bunch of stuff on the board. That's pretty cool. Zamuza permanent. If you have Goku Black Battle Card, this card gains blocker. Um, that's neat. Uh, it's a neat way to do that. We have another instant Kamehameha. And we have a black Kamehameha for our first gun common or second gun common. I keep not paying attention. Uh, active battle opponent's turn. Choose your leader. Or up to one of your opponents, or up to one of your battle cards, it gets 20,000 power for the battle. Then look at the top three cards of your deck and place them on the top or bottom of your deck in any order. Very cool. Um, we have from Resurrection F, we have Shu, or Sui, maybe it's Sui. Um, it's like a fish guy with a blaster on it. It's kind of neat. Skelter is attached to his cannon. There's a gun. It's kind of neat. Um... Critical and permanent, this opponent's turn card gets 10,000 power. Yeah, it's 30,000. You know, he's more powerful than some of the regular guys. Um, our first rare, we have Sun Go Gohan Childhood uh, going Super Saiyan 2 there. On play, add the top card, uh, add, add the top card of your deck to your life. So that's awesome, right? He costs six, but he can help you get some of that life back. Uh, which late in the game, that can be very powerful. And then we have our other rare, we have Future Trunks. Uh, when attacking, at the end of the turn, place this card at the bottom of your deck. You can do maybe like two more, two, maybe three more packs, which is how many duplicates we get. Um, that'll be about half of the stack, and then we'll save the rest for video part two. Um, I am still getting a code in each pack, I'm just setting them off to the side. All right, we got our first full regular cooler. Nothing super special about him, but definitely neat. Piccolo, Vegeta, uh, Hercule Satan. Permanent, this card must attack whenever possible. Uh -huh. When attacking, draw one card and discard one card from your hand. Oh, that that's punishing, right? Like, I mean, playing around it, because obviously you're adding it to your deck, but um, that's cool. We have, now you see the power of the Ginyu Force. Active main, if you have two or more battle cards with Ginyu Force and a special trait, draw two cards. Gohan Childhood, Cooler's Armored Squadron. Uncommon, we have the Time Machine. Active main, look at the bottom card of your deck and play up to one trunk feature card at the cost of two. Playing the remaining cards from the bottom, place any remaining cards at the bottom of your deck. This is a very weird way to word cards like this. So it's like a bottom card of your deck, you know, to play up to one Trunks Future card that costs two. So this is gonna be very specific. You have to find some way of looking at the top of your deck with like maybe that Bulma card um, we saw before, which lets you the top three or top cards put them in the top or bottom. You put Trunks down there, then play this to get him. It was specifically a Trunks for the cost of two for free. Um, which just place any remaining cards on the bottom of your deck. Just technically, I guess, if you look at one card and you choose not to, you have one remaining. It's just all, always a weird, I think, a weird way to word that. Um, Android 18. On play the top five cards of your deck. Reveal up to one Krillin and, or up to one Android 17. Add them to your hand. Place those to the bottom of your deck in a random order. Oh, and we got another duplicate on common there. Our first rare duck tournament of power arena which is in the world of void the only time we see that keyword i believe um yeah kind of see if you can see it's not really much in there just a big black void um this is our first field card um Field card, uh, this card remains in your battle area until you place another field card. Active battle. Switch this card to rest mode. Choose your leader up to your battle card. Gain 5,000 power to the end of the turn. So these guys are going to be very powerful to have. You put them out, then you basically just keep activating them. Because they're not battle cards, as of now, I don't think there's a way to get rid of them unless you purposely get rid of them. So it's cool, but I also feel like everyone's going to just always include... 
these in their deck because why wouldn't you? You place it out, your opponent can't deal deal with it. All right, they are our last one. Is we got another super rare. We got an Android 18. That is definitely cool. In green, on play, draw one card, then discard one card from your hand. Um, when attacking, if you have six or fewer, six or more energy, draw one card. Next, so you get to basically cycle through your deck to find what you need. All right. Next pack here. Another Gingyu in Goku's body. We still need a regular Gingyu deck. A baby pan. We do get a Kien Shinhan, who has a blocker. Nothing extra special. Universe 6. A regular Goku Black. A uh, rose version. Gingyu Force. A Gawasa. Crusher Ball. We're getting lots of duplicates now. Kale. My from the future. Uh, so, yeah. One new card here. We're getting right into our rares now. We have Sinister Sickle. Um, definitely neat. Uh, active main. Shoot up to two of your opponent's battle cards. The cost of four or less in place enough to bottom of your owner's deck in any order. Nice. Uh, mess with your deck. And then our last card is another super rare in yellow. We got Cooler, uh, which is his uh, transformation form. It's always one of them weird things, is that he had a fifth transformation. You're like, oh, that's neat. Like, Freezer can go at that. Freezer never did this. It's weird that he unlocked that, but then Freezer turns into gold. You know, um, Blocker and when attacking or when blocking, choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards and switch it to rest mode. Then if this... If that card had a cost of two or less, KO it. Nice. Alright. We're going to last pack for this video. I will... For part two, I will go through and just kind of see where we're sitting at for standing. Of how many commons and commons we have. Usually I always start out part twos. Um, and then again, as we have all the commons and stuff. We'll probably have most of the commons at this point. A lot of the uncommons. So we'll probably be flying through them. Um, we are going to start off, though, with our other red. So we had both greens, both reds, and um, I think that's it. So we've had four of the leaders. Uh, so Sun Goku, one attacking, draw one card. Flip, this card's four or less draw. So this is the exact same stats as the starter deck one. Um, I wonder what makes him different here. Permanent, your turn. All your battle cards of Universe 7 and their special traits get 5,000 power. And then when attacking, draw a card. So this one specifically boosts up un all Universe Sevens. I think the starter deck one gives it gives uh, more power, but to only one card, I believe. I'd have to go find it and look, but uh, that's definitely cool. Makes them a little bit different. Um, Android Seventeen, a Champa, ooh, Android Nineteen, permanent. If you have six or more energy, this card gains ten thousand power. Another Mega Cooler. Ginyu Force. Shu. Hercule. Uncommon. We have a Future Trunks. We have a new Vegeta. End of your turn if you have seven of your cards in your hand. Switch this card to active mode. So basically gain bonuses for having less cards. Our first rare is Future Trunks. Uh, who has critical and on play. Choose up to one battle card with a cost of Fearless. Return it to its owner's hand. I love cards like this because it says, she's one card, who cares? So you obviously they're like, oh, I can bounce my opponent's card back to their hand. Then that way they lose, they have to spend time replaying it. But you could also return yours if they have a um, one play ability, right? So that's kind of cool there. So, oh, when this card's played, you can replay it again. Um just see if I had like a quick one there. This is a blue one. I don't think I can find one really quick. Not the exact same because well, it's a different color, but if you had it out, it would be like this Android here. So on play, draw one card and discard one from your hand, right? So you have the option you could bounce it back to your hand because it's two. You know, then you could replay it. 
heal and use that effect again. That might not be one you want to do, but it is a possibility. Then we got our second field card, Dr. Giro's Lab. With a uh, capsule 19 open already. Um, activate main, pay a green to switch this card to rest mode. Uh, if your leader is Android 17, add up to one card with Android from a special trait from your drop to your energy. So that's kind of cool. It's very specific, though. Um, you got to spend energy, but you're going to keep gaining energy. But it lets you keep kind of getting them other cards back. Um, all right, so that's pretty cool. All right, so that is uh, Dragon Ball Super Card Game Fusion World Awakening Pulse. Blah, it's a mouthful. Um, Booster Pack 1. So that's part one. So come back, check out part two. If you'd like to see the rest of the cards we unlock, unlock, open up. Um, and we'll see how many we're missing. All right, see you guys there. Bye.